What's up Yugi Hoes and Yugi Bros, it's Third Dark Fan here and today I'm bringing you a deck profile of Black Wings, better known as Black Feathers in the OCG. I really like this deck. For some reason uh, people don't uh, see the potential that it has and it, it has always had. Uh, basically it's one of the, like one of the most centered decks I've ever played. Uh, synergizing with a lot of destruction based cards with uh, Icarus attack and a lot of searching with black uh, whirlwind and it's really really good uh, it's basically a plus one with whirlwind it gets you back in the game and the f the one factor that i like about this deck is that uh the average attack in its central monsters is like 1500 or more which basically if you're top decking you basically kind of uh uh outweigh the metagame uh per se uh because um fire fist have like 1600 attack with the uh, with bear kind of that their area and like Sirocco you can just top deck Sirocco in um, into something it's really good I've done that out so many times and like stolen games with that and uh, with that said I'll start a deck profile from for black feathers you know um, people want to see it so here it is let's get going all right so standard black feathers you know it runs two Sirocco uh, if you want to, you can play one, but I like three. I usually side out one because I don't want to draw it like dead, going second and third game. Uh, triple Shura, really good card. When you destroy a monster, you special summon either Kalut or Gale, just to get more aggressive and push for uh, more damage. Uh, Bora, the Piercer, really good card with Kalut. Steals games away from Light Swarms, anything that sets with low defense, really good card. Uh, triple Kalut. Basically, you're honest in hand. Uh, really controls the game uh, when you have one monster on the field. Makes your opponent second guess himself to see if you have a collude or not and play around that. Uh, two Blizzard, the far north. Uh, I still think it's very essential to the deck just to synchro summon into something um, you need to get out of. A uh, really good card, so you can run it at one as well. Uh, the one Zephyros, uh, just to uh, get Shinyanin going in the grave. Really good mid game and late game just to push. Uh, the one Gale. Because it's still good cut attack and defense, which is very essential. Uh, the one Thunder King, because I felt that when you're top decking mid to late game, uh, Thunder King is one of the best monsters ever of all time in the game. And a lot of people say that. And I've been trying it, and it's really good. I like it a lot. Uh, with that said, let's go on to the spells. Triple Whirlwind, broken as card of the deck. If you open up two or one, you kind of have the game already, but... Um, uh, triple duality just get consistency get your uh, option going whirlwinds with your monsters and everything uh, Triple space very essential you need it just to bait out any back row that you feel is going to be a threat to you You got to get rid of those bottom lists and warnings when you have a uh, whirlwind uh, The one book still really good just to get around those trap stuns the one allure to get um your dark target fodder um, The best card of the deck Icarus attack Oh my god, this card is amazing. It wins so many games, just steals away games from people. People don't see it coming at all. Uh, the two Fiendish Chain, still really good, essential, staple traps. Two Mirror Forces, um, the one Warning, the one Torrential, the one Bottomless, one Trap Hole. I decided to take out the third Fiendish for this. It's been really good uh, in playtesting as one of my games as well. People don't see it coming. Uh, the one Delta Crow, just to get punished bad people from setting four trap or spell cards first turn. And the one Dimensional Prison, still really good card for Fire Kings. Anything that you can't get rid of, really good. So that's the main, that's the best structured I can come up with for the moment. Uh, kind of wanted more consistency uh, into drawing Whirlwinds and the uh, Black Wings really fast. Just to get board set up. Uh, nothing fancy, no tech cards, just straight up Black Wings, that's it. All right, extra deck, um, level eight, Void Ogre Dragon. When you have no cards in hand, you can negate one spell or track card per turn during either player's turn. The one Stardust, still really good in the game. The one Armades for the um, Blizzard targets. Same thing for Cataster. Armor Master for your level sevens. Armed Wing, uh, piercing damage, you know, still really good, seals games. Ice Beast Zero Fine. Essential, Master Key Beetle, really good. 
Dweller, really good. Evil Swarm Nightmare. Uh, he's been really good in testing. I like him. Uh, just put down special summon monsters and face down is really good late game. Kaga um, Cowboy, Steel Swarm Roach, Black Ship, uh, Maestro, and the Chimera Tech for uh, Draco Sax, Giria, Cyber Dragons, just anything that's going to be um, a nuisance to you with machines. Um, I'm not main decking or not. I don't have in the extra deck uh, 101 or silent honors because I don't have them. So this is all I can have for the moment. Uh, side deck, Cyber Dragon for the Chimera Tech, Double Maxi, Double DD Crow, Dark Hole, D Fissure, Two Light Imprisoning, Two Overworked, Soul Dream, Full House, Dimensional Prison, the second one. Just to get anything random, just put it in. And Vanities. Uh, Blackhorn, I don't really like it that much. I feel Vanities is really good, still underrated. And um, that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. That's Black Feathers, Black Wings, however you want to call it. And stay tuned for more uh, discussions, metagames, and deck profiles. Keep it 8,000 and peace. Bye.